Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Kalika and in these times I thought it would be great to bring some wholesomeness to everyone. Mainly for me actually because I feel like I need to hear some nice things today. <laughs> and as we're both in lockdown I've also invited my husband to read some of these posts too. Hello, I'm here because I have no other choice. <laughs> Let's spread some positivity. Do you have a death wish or something? Actually, I do. I wish for the sweet embrace of death. Oh, that's adorable. Hmm. <laughs> See, it's funny whenever like people use sweet embraces like sarcasm, like when it comes to sweet embrace of death, like it's supposed to be sarcastic. Yeah. This is not what I wanted, but maybe it was what I needed. Me when I see you vibrant and positive. Me when I hear you not self-loving enough. Mm. Angry chump. <laughs> is that photoshopped? That eye looks photoshopped. No. Sometimes you have to trim away all the withered parts weighing you down. It's hard because you don't want to lose yourself, but you will grow back. You will be okay. I mean, I get it. It's nice. I understand. But why is there an, like a, a skeleton grandmother? I don't, I don't understand that. Like, that could have been anyone. You know what? You do know that this is a positive, wholesome video. Do we I don't need your butts here. <laughs> oh, that's nice, but. Uh, do I, am I actually a positive person? No. no. That was weirdly in sync. <laughs> <laughs> I have nothing important to say, but if all you did today was hold yourself together, I'm proud of you. Thanks, I needed to hear that actually. I mean, like, I think that's, that's what everyone needs to do at this point. Everyone needs to just not go crazy, turn cannibalism and, you know, steal all the toilet paper from every shop. Yeah, please stop. Yeah, stop. <laughs> if you're one of those people, please stop. Get some help. <laughs> we, we, stop it. Get some help. <laughs> we all have butts to clean. Wow. No matter how many years may pass, I hope you'll always remain my friend. From Kiki. That's adorable. Isn't that so cute? That's That looks like it's the first Animal Crossing as well. And they, they did always carry over the, the characters. Yeah. And it's even the same jumper that they're wearing. I mean, I kind of wish it was the same hat. And the same, like, <laughs> if, like, their OC was was wearing the same stuff, but that's actually quite adorable. We've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing and yeah. it's fantastic. I mean, we've been min-maxing like every day. Mm. It's horrible, but it's great. Don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 30. Uh -huh. I mean, yes. Don't say but. Although. H however. <laughs> however, <laughs> contrary, a lot of people don't compare themselves to someone that's older a lot of people compare themselves to someone that's the same age or younger or whatever it is or are more successful but they're around about the same thing like yeah but remember, that doesn't make it that doesn't make the message any different just because say say we're both 20 and i have a fantastic credit score and you don't that's just because i started earlier than you that's still my chapter 20 to your chapter 20 it's not though yeah it is it's not because it's we're the same age it's the same amount of time what they're talking about is years don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 30. That's that's literally what that means. It's a bigger tree. It's an older tree. He's even got a beard. Well, they both got beards, but <laughs> he's got a bigger beard. He's got pom-poms. He's got hands. You don't have to understand everything. You just have to try to not be a dick. These are words I actually live by. Yeah, and I like the way that it's <clears throat> presented in like a nice, fun way. And it's But the message is strong. Yeah, the message is strong with this one. <laughs> Checking her phone when she wakes up. My girlfriend. 20 random texts and memes from me. <laughs> this is actually the opposite. I feel like I send you more stuff from Reddit than you do with me. You'll be upstairs and I'll send you, I'll send you like a funny meme and then I'll be like, check your phone. Yeah, or I'll just like, <laughs> it'll be like an hour later and I'll just look at my phone and all, all she'll hear from downstairs is just, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you overcoming your demons. Me. I'm really proud of you. I mean, I, yes, I guess. Looks like the weather today will be incredibly nice. Good day, gentlemen. Oh my, you look radiant today. Your rays are simply stunning. Smashing. <laughs> Absolutely smashing. <laughs> Indubitably, my good man. You said you are not beautiful. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Okay, that one I get. I like that. <laughs> Finally. I don't, I don't know who that is, but... That's I Maury. Like, I don't know who that is. He's American... Uh, Jeremy Kyle. If it was Jeremy Kyle or if it was Dr. Phil. No, no, not, not Dr. Phil. Dr. Phil doesn't do the lie detector test, does he? I have no idea. I don't watch Dr. Phil. Okay. 
But yeah, Jeremy Springer, I know. I know I've seen. I watched Jeremy it Springer. <laughs> Not Jeremy Springer. <laughs> Jerry Springer or Jeremy Kyle? Yes. Yeah. Results happen over time, not overnight. This is... Adorable. It's One, it's adorable, and two, it is 100% true. Like, as an artist, it's it's very, very difficult to get to, like, that final stage. But it's just... It's about keep going and keep going. I can't draw anything, but I don't really try. But, but it's about practice. Yeah, but I don't... I... No. <laughs> mm, it's not for me. Maybe he didn't want to go to the dance with you because your hair is too red. What? That's so mean. Don't get mad at me. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't blame this on me. I think your hair looks great just how it is. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Satan. <laughs> <laughs> See, these ones I, I do enjoy when it's like a, you're taking the, the play on words. Yeah. <laughs> Satan's just sitting there reading a book like, hey. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Don't drag me into this. I'm just, I'm just my I'm own just business. I'm just chilling. I'm in quarantine. <laughs> Goddamn. I'm just reading Mein Kampf. Leave me alone. Whoa. I cut that out. <laughs> when you're trying to love people, but you're also an introvert and have boundaries. This is me all the time. There's no hole, though. There's no hole. That's closed. <laughs> <laughs> but you've got your paw out being like, love me. <laughs> text me. Don't call me. <laughs> just text me. I think, I think you had social distancing before it was cool. Absolutely. I had social distancing down. I had lockdown down. <laughs> this, you, this, this isn't even a holiday for you. This is just normal day. This is just life. Yeah. Except now if I go outside, I risk, you know, going to jail. And now I can work from home. So I That's literally true. have no reason to leave the house. Because if anything needs to be done outside the house, you just send me to do it anyway. Well, that's true. We do need milk, <laughs> by the way. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> what people think being emotional means. Unprofessional weak irrational what it actually means you are human i wholeheartedly agree mm -hmm. although there's the big whole stigma like men don't have emotions you're I... not allowed to feel stuff you're not allowed to cry at movies or take a compliment yeah and i think that's something that needs to be fixed. eradicated completely. but it's i i find it's the people the people that think that men aren't allowed to show emotion or cry are the same ones that are like, oh, women need to be in the kitchen and women don't, shouldn't get paid. Yeah. You know, if they draw a line, they have these preset notions. Yeah. Whereas, I get, I get emotional all the time. Have you ever seen me watch Bambi? Not pretty. No, we haven't watched Bambi yet. We need to watch Bambi. Well, no, we don't need to watch Bambi. That's a terrible idea. <laughs> it's like, well, we've watched the, the opening of Up. Yeah, we did watch the opening of Up. That was... I don't think that's as bad, though. What do you mean? Well, no, it's not as bad as Bambi, to be fair. No. But I haven't seen Bambi since I was a literal child, and I vowed to, like, never watch it again. Bambi is the OG of emotion. Yeah. You want to be sad? Honey, be sad. We'll ride it out with you. And when you get finished feeling sad, we'll still be there. From now on, let me do the smiling for both of us. I sort of feel... I'm bringing everything back to, like, lockdown and quarantine. Mm. Like, because obviously that is the situation that we're in. Like, that's why I wanted to make this video, because... Like day by day we've been in quarantine for like what four weeks now over a month yeah it's, it's about a month <laughs> and there, there's days when you wake up and you don't want to do anything like you literally have all of this free time where you could be so productive like i could sit down and make maybe four videos a day um like before my work stuff came in where i'd be working from home like i could have done that but my brain is literally just like um how about you just watch 12 hours of youtube and yeah. then go to bed like I don't understand, but it's like, hey, you know what? If you want to be sad, if you want to, like, mope around a bit, that's okay. If all you did today was, like, get dressed or make your bed or brush your teeth, that's okay. You know? And I think, um, well, hopefully, well, hopefully not too many people are feeling that way. <laughs> well, you see, that's the thing. I think that because of people being stuck at home, not being able to leave, not being able to do anything, and the fact that it's, I think if you, it, like, it was kind of like us for the first week. For the first week that we were that we were in quarantine, we were kind of doing stuff, we were getting stuff done. It was Random like, we, we can clean the house, we can, you know... Any of those little odd jobs that Get everything to be in done. order, yeah. And then the longer it went on for it, the more we just, no. Mm -hmm. I think, I, I honestly think that quarantine is starting to bring this, like, wave of kind of depression on people. Yeah. Because they realize that they're now stuck in their own home yeah. for, for God knows how long. And I think the longer the quarantine goes on for, the worse it's going to get. But obviously, the important thing is to 
keep in contact with other people. You know, um, it doesn't have to be, I, I would almost say keep in contact with different people on different days. You know, rotate the people that you're talking to, whether it be sometimes you're talking to two people at once, sometimes you're talking to one person. Keep everything that you're doing fresh to keep your mind kind of going and active. Mm -hmm. You know, try not to settle into the same routine of getting up, not doing anything, watching a bunch of YouTube and then... Yeah, try and break the cycle, yeah. But I mean, we, <laughs> we would have different ways of dealing with stuff because you're very extroverted and I'm very introverted. Like for me, quarantine is like... Well, it was my my normality for mm. a long time. Like I I didn't re really leave the house unless I had to go to work or I had an appointment or I went to go and get my hair done or whatever. Like this was I love being at home. I love just playing games, getting my work done. Um, but then it's whenever the choice is taken away from you. Yes. And for definitely. me, the 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 way to get out of that isn't to talk to loads of people because talking to people like drains me mm. it makes me tired and it can put me in a slump anyway like if i for the last couple of days i haven't really lifted my phone to talk to people because i see like oh you've got a couple of whatsapp messages from your best friend checking in for you from your brother and i'm like oh like i, I don't want to talk to anyone right now and i know that sounds bad but it's it's like the reality of i just want to mope i just want to watch youtube i don't want to you know i could be doing so many different things i could be staying connected sure it was like the other week i had like a near panic attack and i was just i got in my own head like i was looking up the coronavirus stuff every single day yeah finding out what was what was different what's changed what are we not allowed to do now um and then i started thinking about okay well at that time i wasn't working from home so i was like well how are we going to pay our bills you know this is setting in now like what what is normal day-to-day -day gonna look like because while i love staying at home while i love playing games all day and stuff like that i'm still a productive member of society where i go out to work i earn my money i pay my bills mm. that's been taken away from me so what what am i doing you know and that got on top of me and yeah it's trying to pull yourself out of that hole but people i don't know how extroverts are dealing with it right now i am currently bouncing off the walls <laughs> like in internally i am bouncing off the walls i mean but it's about again like this is this is what i'm saying is like just keep yourself occupied don't do something for the sake of doing it mm -hmm. like make plans like <clears throat> what i i'm starting to do is every evening i'll say right the one thing that i have to do today is this yeah don't make it the same thing that you did yesterday don't even make it the same thing you did over the last five or six days just do something new get something new done it, one thing new every single day you know and that way You'll always have, you'll always be changing your days, even if it's clean your backyard or, you know, go through all of your old clothes or stuff like, that. like simple stuff like that. So that that way you're not going crazy. You're not sitting around. You know, yes, something might take two or three hours mm -hmm. and you've got the rest of the day to yourself, but it means that the rest of the day is broken up. It doesn't feel like yesterday because you've done this different thing. Yeah. You know, take up a hobby. That's one of the things I, I said to the Munchkin. I was like, look, take up a hobby, card tricks, magic tricks, mm. you know, learn how to do so, learn how to play a game. He learned how to play poker. Oh, wow. Yeah, he was, <laughs> he was taught how to play poker. And I was like, this is easily the worst possible thing you could learn That's how to play. That's brilliant. Um, but yeah, stuff like that. You know, it's never hard to- I think to... one of my saving graces is now that I'm, you know, work sent me out all of my equipment. So my days are structured again. Mm. Like I can go to work Monday to Friday, nine to five and have my weekends off. You know, that for me, I think, is what I needed. I needed, like, some sort of reason to get up and get out of bed. I need a reason to sit down on my computer. And I need a reason to value my time between, like, 5 and 10, 5 p.m. and 10 p.m. whenever I'm off of work. Mm. So I think, for me, that's going to make things better. I don't know what that's going to mean for YouTube because I still... I'm not in the mind frame where, like, okay, right, I've done my work. I need to sit down and record some videos and then edit them and stuff like that. You know, it's very... It's still all up in the air at the moment. And I never, ever recorded whenever you were in the house. Yeah. I, I would always record whenever you were out of the house or away at the weekend. So it's weird, like, sitting down and he'll, you'll be right behind me. And I'm like, hello, everyone. <laughs> like, well, yeah, it just feels weird. BC was I'm the opposite because, like, I was in the routine. And a perfect example is, is with myself as well. Like, I was in the routine of doing YouTube every single week, trying to make sure it was done. Um so I could have videos out. But the longer I've been here, I've been like, what's the point? 
Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's the general thing. People start getting into the mindset, well, what's the point? Yeah. But it's you have to kind of fight that. You need to go against that. It's like time is infinite, so why bother doing something now when I could do it later? Yeah. Or even at all, because it's not going to matter. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, because you feel like there's no one else to appreciate it. Because you haven't seen anybody, you haven't spoken to anybody. It's just been, to, as far as you're aware, everything outside of your house is burnt to ashes. You <laughs> don't know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, that was a bit of a waffle. Well, I mean, thanks for coming to our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how much of that is going to get cut out in editing. None of it. <laughs> none, it. none of no, it? No, it's fine. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Well, that'll be all for, well, wholesome. I don't know. This was like wholesome stories, wholesome memes. Made me smile. It was like a mix of stuff. But we just wanted to bring a little bit of wholesomeness into your day. Uh, we're probably going to record another one of these videos and post it on later in the week. Joys. I can have today. <laughs> get him some work to do. Um, but yeah. Anything you want to say? Um, I mean, I'm. It doesn't matter. Forget it. Forget it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna cut this. It's fine. Why? Because it's stupid. No. I can't shame this plug. You can. I'm not allowed. <laughs> it's bold. I'll put my husband DK's channel in the description. Um, he's streaming Final Fantasy VII remake every night at 8 p.m. GMT. All right, I'm a head out. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you could do it better than me. I can't. I can't pitch stuff. Can pitch? Well, I'm. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. <laughs>